Hi guys, welcome to Be Thrifty. In today's video, I show you how I transform this lamp using bleach and rub and buff paint. Stay with me. The lampshade is in really good condition. It's just a bit yellow for my taste. Um, so I think I'm gonna try spraying it with bleach, see if I can lighten it up a bit. Here are all the parts. The base is metal and the finial is metal as well. Um, so I'm going to try using something called rub and buff on them. I've never tried that product before, so I'm excited to do that. Before I apply the rub and buff, I'm going to try cleaning the metal pieces with um, this soft cleanser. It's supposed to remove stains and rust, so I'm going to try that first. Okay? It says I'm supposed to wet a damp cloth so that's what I'm gonna do first let me put on my gloves safety first okay so now I'm gonna wet the rag a little bit with some water damp then I'm going to apply the cleaner or cleanser So now I'm going to try bleaching the lampshade. I'm not happy with this color. It's very dingy, very yellow. So I'm going to try to change it by lightening it up, lightening it up a little bit. Here's how I made my bleach solution. I'm using a 16 ounce spray bottle, just uh, from the 99 cent store. And I measured one and a half cup of water in here, in a measuring cup. I'm gonna pour that in right now. Now I'm going to add two tablespoons of bleach. I'm using an actual tablespoon because I don't have any more measuring cups. And now I pour it in. Seal it and give it a little shake. And there you go. This is what the lampshade looks like after I sprayed it once with the bleach solution. You can already see the yellow fading away. You can see some white coming through. The inside trim of the lampshade was still yellow after I sprayed it with the uh, bleach solution but I just went over it with a painter's pen in white and now it looks crisp and clean. So I got the rub and buff gold in gold. This one's antique gold and I also got the patina this one here and I got these at Walmart for four dollars each um, I really didn't want to pay that much but um, I, I this is something new for me I haven't tried these before so I'm excited to do that let's do it
A small amount of this paint does go a long way. I was able to cover a large surface with very little paint. The odor is very strong, so I recommend that you use it in an outdoor space or in, at least open a few windows because it's very strong. So let me tell you what I think about this paint. I was really excited to try it, but I was a little disappointed with the green color. I thought it would cover a little bit better, but it didn't. So um, I was disappointed with that. And the gold color, however, did a pretty decent job. It covered everything, all the little metal pieces in between the lamp. Um, so I was impressed with that. And, um, I think if I do try this paint again, I would definitely go for the golden colors, the more metallic colors, because the green didn't really work for me. And here's the before and after pictures. Tell me what you think down below. I would love to hear from you. Tell me what I did wrong. Tell me what I did right. I would love to hear it. Hey guys, thank you for joining me. Give this video a like. Let's keep thrifting together and I'll see you next time. Here's how I made my bleach solution. I measured one and a half cups of water. Start over. Now the instructions said it's supposed to be a damp cloth, so I'm going to dampen this tissue first. Oh, wait a minute. Oh jeez, that's not even water. Oh. I'll be back. <laughs> 